It's Tim Sheets of a Tech Spot here, and this is the Android N Developer Preview 3, which was just recently announced and released at Google I.O. Now I've been using this software update on my Nexus 6P for a couple of days now, and anyone can try out this version of Android if you want to. It's in beta form right now. And I think it's about time to give a bit of an update on what Android N is like to use in its current beta form and what people can expect when the software update is released fully in a couple of months time. The good news about Developer Preview 3 in particular is that Google has managed to iron out a lot of the bugs and performance issues that were plaguing the previous versions. When I've been using the Developer Preview 1 and 2 over the past couple of months on the 6P, I ran into a lot of performance issues in particular that just made the device feel like it was running slower than previous versions of Android. There were some issues with the keyboard, and of course there were a couple of bugs. But with this new version, it seems like Google has managed to iron out a lot of these issues, and it should be a lot more stable and smooth to use for general use. Whether or not you feel like running a beta version of Android on your main smartphone is entirely up to you, but I think that if you wanted to try out some of the new features I'm about to go through, this is definitely the version to jump in if you haven't done already. There aren't a whole lot of new features that Google has added specifically into the Developer Preview 3 compared to previous versions, but I have started to see some references to the new VR mode that they announced at I.O., which will allow some certified devices to run VR-ready applications at a high level of performance that was available previously, especially when it comes to latency, which is really key for virtual reality applications. This new feature will be called Daydream, and there'll be a new app store that's related to specifically VR apps, but none of that is currently available in the developer preview at the moment. So we'll just have to wait and see when these new certified devices are available, although the Nexus 6P is expected to be one of them. We've also seen a couple of updates to the way applications are installed and also software updates are installed. It should be a lot faster on the Developer Preview 3. And you should be able to install new versions of Android without having to go through the lengthy installation process. It should happen in the background on Android N and a simple reboot will allow you to jump straight into the next version of Android. However, if you haven't jumped into the Android N Developer Preview just yet, there are a number of really compelling features that are definitely worth checking out. And one of the primary ones of those is the multi-window mode. It's not as useful on a smartphone like the Nexus 6P running two apps side by side, but on a tablet like the Pixel C, the ability to run those apps side by side and increase your productivity is definitely welcome on that form factor. There are some times when running two apps on the same screen on a Nexus 6P can be useful, and the ability to change the sort of sizes of each of those windows is handy, but again, it's more suited to those larger devices. And when it came to the Pixel C, when I was reviewing it, it really was missing this feature. So it's great to see it coming in to Android N. The multi-window mode isn't the only new multitasking feature included in Android N. Double tapping on the recent apps button will switch directly to the app that you were using previously. And this is a really great feature. It makes it really quick to switch between applications. The app switcher menu in general has also been updated to show you larger previews of your apps that you've been using previously. And there's just some interface tweaks that make it a little bit easier to use there as well. The notification pane has been completely overhauled in Android N with a couple of new features, primarily the new quick toggles that you'll see at the top for controlling things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also an entirely new delivery system for notifications. The way that Android N bundles everything together is a lot better than previous versions of Android, particularly for things like Gmail. The ability to see more subject headers and have them all grouped together is really fantastic. And the ability to reply to things in line without having to open the application is something we've seen a little bit previously in older versions of Android. This has been completely expanded in Android N and we should see it in more applications. Android N brings a number of under the hood changes as well. We're seeing an updated version of Doze, which should bring even better battery life than previously when the screen is turned off. Svelte has been updated, so there's better memory management, and we'll see not as many applications waking up at certain times, which will again help improve that battery life situation. Support for the Vulkan graphics API is also included in this version, so when new games come out that support this API, we'll see better performance and better utilization of the hardware in smartphones, so a bit closer to the metal there. There. Of the remaining interesting new features in Android N, we're seeing an updated setting screen, shows you a little bit more information there. There's a new data saver feature, so if your data cap is quite tight, turn this on and it will restrict some background data access to apps that you aren't using. We're seeing new support for emoji, which is always awesome if you want to communicate with your friends using all those new emojis that have just been released. We're seeing updates to Android for work as well. A couple of interesting enterprise features in there and just general performance improvements and things like optimizing apps a little bit faster. It's all there in Android N. 
it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't done it already. So definitely get on there if you have a Nexus device, check out the developer preview and Android N as a full version should be coming out in the next couple of months.